everyone so this look today was requested by please bear with me if i am um, pronouncing your name incorrectly but i think it's petronilla 14 she requested me to do a tutorial on this look which is the same look that i was wearing in my last i want to say two to three videos so this is the look So please stay tuned for the tutorial. Once again, thanks for viewing. Bye. So I already applied my Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my entire eyelid. And I will be using the Blue Had Me at Hello palette. So the first color that I will be applying on the center of the lid, it's this color right here. But before I apply that color I'm just going to apply a little bit of my shadow base in light which is like a off-white creamy base and I'm just applying a tad bit of that to the center of the lid and an alternative to this is NYX jumbo pencil in milk so now i'm going to apply the color to the center of the lid and if you're hearing like a running or jumping noise that's my neighbor doing her exercise. Like that. The next color I'm going to use on the inner part of the tear duct area, I'm going to use the shade right here. And I'm also mixing it with this shade. So these two shades to the top. This and this. And now I'm going to take this color and apply right in the tear duct area as well. And I'm also applying that under the lower lash line. That. For the outer part of the lid, I'm going to apply a mixture of this color and this color and my palette just fell and that whole chunk fell out so please excuse that. So just a tad bit of these two colors and applying that to the outer part of the lid. And now with a fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend out that color a bit. area I'm going in with my 
my palette and I'm going to be using the shade saddle as well as soft brown we have saddle here and then we have soft brown over here so I'm just mixing those two colors and we're going to blend that in the crease area Next, I'm going back into the Wet n Wild palette and I'm going to use oops, sorry, this shade of blue, which is the lighter blue, and I'm going to use that as my highlight color. So, I'm going to apply this under the brow area. back with that fluffy brush I'm just going to blend out that color and I'm just going to take a little bit more of the just a bit of the saddle which is this color here and apply that in the crease. Like that. And I am going back in the Wet n Wild palette and apply a little bit more of the color that we applied first. So and we're applying a little bit more of the colors we use on the inner part of the tear duct area like that next I'm going to apply a tad bit of the darker blue just to deepen the outer part of the lid area a bit and back with that fluffy brush just blending it out a bit For the lower lash line, I'm going to use a little bit of this color and apply that like that. And then I am going to take a little bit of Fix Plus and with a small smudge brush apply a bit of Fix Plus and then I'm going to use the same darker shade of blue and apply that to the rest of the lower lash line. I 
like that. And I'm just going to blend that so out. I just finished blending out those colors under my lower lash line and I applied my Anastasia Beverly Hills, what is it, the Covered Waterproof Eyeliner in the color No, which is basically a black eyeliner. So I apply that on my waterline. Next, I'm going to apply two coats of my Black Extreme mascara from MAC that and next I am going to apply my eyelash and the eyelash that I'm using today it's from Red Cherry and this one is in the number 43 so I will be applying that as well as my foundation off camera and I will be back to finish up this look so stay okay, tuned. So I am back and on my cheek I am wearing from MAC the blush in Amber Ring Rose looks like this I already applied my where is it my apple rose salve on the lips so now I'm going to be using from MAC their lip pencil in the shade Dervish For the lipstick that I am using today, it's from Lime Crime and it's in the shade Geradium. And on top of that, I'm going to be using MAC Dazzle Glass. And this one is in Stepping Out. Okay, so this wraps up the look. Let me show you guys a quick close-up before I go. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, thanks for viewing and stay tuned for my upcoming videos. Bye!